gauges are installed. Very nice. Rally Road billeted aluminum. Check out this video on how I get these bad boys in. In part one of this two-part video series, we tapped into the spare port to attach an oil pressure and oral temperature sending unit, which will feed into the inside for our gauge. Enjoy part two. Okay, next I'm going to remove this upper panel here. I'm going to try to see if I can find a way through the firewall. Okay, so there was a little knob. I'll show you a picture. I turn that. Now this comes down, and you can see the ODB port here. That looks like it slides up to release this uh, clip. That just slides up and then it looks like there's a little light connector here as well. So next I'm going to take this cover off and I'm going to take a peek in there so I can see where that cable bundle goes through the firewall above the dead pedal. An easy way to pass wires through the driver's side firewall is uh, to go through this um, plastic uh, backing plate um, that connects to the fuse box on the inside of the, the trunk. So you can see the cable bundle coming through, uh, through this backing plate. And there's this uh, circular um, opening essentially. Underneath that opening is, uh, it goes right straight through the firewall. So there's no drilling or anything required. So you can fish wires up uh, through this hole uh, all the way uh, up to, uh, to the top of the fuse box. Okay, so I was able to come up from the bottom and fish this ethernet cable through. So it's a fairly stiff wire bundle, but also flexible. And then I routed it where I want the wires to go underneath. And of course you can probably use anything to fish up there, but I thought this way here I can I can route through the box the way I want to. Here you can see my bundle is all taped up and I'll fish it through. And here we go, success. Okay, so you can see my two wires there coming in. Got a little zip tie under that harness, under, back and around and then down below. So I'll just tidy this up and then button it up. Okay, next step is I need to find power with a dimmer so the gauge don't blind me when the lights are on. So I'm gonna take this radio out and I'm gonna go from there. Okay, after you pop the trim off, there's two Phillips screws. Okay, so mine's a 2002. And so here's what it looks like. I'll uh, pop this off and show you the pin out on the back. Okay. So the top is where the 10 amp fuse is. And so this is what my radio looks like on the back. Okay, so I've got my wiring diagram here. And I just opened up this bundle a little bit, just spreading the wire loosely to give me some room. And I'm just gonna tap into them. It's pretty easy to fish these through. So, ground is the brown wire right there, and the continuous power is red and green right there. So I'm going to tap those on, and then I'm going to come over the other side to grab the switch power as well as the dimmer. Okay, I've got all my wires in. I have my dimmer, which is black, uh, switch positive green. And then I have my ground, which is also black, and my continuous positive. And here's my voltmeter. So let's try continuous positive first. So I'll just uh, go ahead and grab that guy. Okay, 12 volts. Check my dimmer. Zero. Check my switch positive. Zero. We turn the ignition. K 
Okay, so switch positive. Just my green wire right here. 12 volts. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and turn my dimmer on. And I'll follow my dimmer wire. It's right here. So dimmer on now. 11 volts. Okay, so I'm good to go. Now that my test passed, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, reconnect everything. Okay, I moved in the garage out of the sun. I thought the light would be better, but of course it's not. <laughs> so uh, bear with me. But the next step is to remove this top cover. So I was just kind of gently squeezing on it. And I managed to like push here to separate the top from the bottom. And then it was uh, caught up here. And there's a pin on the bottom cover on the corner. You can just barely see it. You gotta push that in, basically. So I just kind of wiggled that out on that side. On the other side, now this top cover hopefully comes off. Okay, I'm gonna lay this out. I want oil pressure on the right and oil temperature on the left. And so I'm gonna run my power down the right-hand side and oil temperature up the left-hand side. And there's a pigtail jumper. Here, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna get this in clean, but um, that would be my goal. There's quite a bit of room here on the right hand side of the wheel, so I'm gonna run all the wires up and I think I'm gonna put a hole in the cover and have them come out. Probably a bit big, but uh, I thought I had rubber grommets. And I just can't find them, so I'm just going to go ahead like that. Okay, so I pull all the wires through, and now what I'm going to do is solder the connector on uh, to hook into the gauge. Okay, now I'm going to start feeding the wires back. Quarter inch hole was actually a pretty good size, I would say. So I'm going to feed them back so it's going to be, you know, fairly clean back here. Okay, it was a little bit of a pain to get that clip right, so I just decided that I'm going to go ahead and remove the steering wheel. And so if you want to do that, then, you know, there's videos out there. You take all responsibility for removing your airbag. Um, anyway, I managed to get mine off, and I'm just going to mount it now with the steering wheel off. Okay, guys, that's the way to do it. It said, I thought I read in the instructions you didn't have to take the steering wheel off, but... Once you undo these four bolts, it just slides right in. Like, that's the way it should be. <laughs> so, yeah, I lost an hour just kind of messing around with that. Okay, so I mounted up the gauge clusters with the steering wheel off. Again, so much easier. Uh, this is definitely the way to do it. Okay, so I tarped down the steering wheel, uh, 46 pounds. Reconnected the airbag, and now I'm going to ease it back in. Uh, and then the steering wheel will be back on. Okay guys, battery's reconnected. You should always disconnect it when you're doing electrical work. So let's uh, see what happens. Ignition. Oh, just one second. My steering wheel's locked. I haven't adjusted them yet. Sorry, I went over one. Okay, that's ignition one, ignition two. Sorry for the blur there. But you can see, yeah, looks like everything's working. Now, these I haven't put any tape on yet because I want to adjust it. Like, I'll see what, like, these are very adjustable so I can move them up more like that. That's probably what I'll do. I wasn't sure like what was gonna be in the way. I wanna be able to see my warning lights. Anyway, it looks like I got everything back together and these things work, I can't believe it. So, success. Now let me um, adjust them properly.